Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the magic cell in Excel. This is a trick I learned when I had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Excel Bill Jellen in a seminar that he did in Pittsburgh last week. And it's all about how to add filters in the various columns of your pivot table when the filter command is not available. It's a great little trick, so let's take a minute and go through it. Here we go. So here we have a basic data set and I'm going to create a pivot table. So I'm just going to click anywhere in it, go to insert pivot table, say OK. And we're going to click on the amounts. It'll throw it in the values. We'll take the type and put it up in filters, product in the rows and division in the columns. And I'm going to go ahead and close the field list. I'll go to design, change the report to tabular form. So now I have my basic pivot table all set up here. Now you notice with a pivot table, Excel automatically puts a drop down where you can filter for the column headings, the row headings, and also for the filter area. But let's say you want to filter the west area for everything greater than, say, 750. There's no easy way to do it. If I click on data, notice the filter is grayed out. I can't access the filter command in the sort and filter group. Now if we go back to the raw data that we used, notice how by clicking into this the filter command is on. I can click on that and the filter drop down arrows appear. I can turn that off. So a neat trick that was built into Excel is if you click right on the column right outside of your data range and click the filter command it will automatically put the drop down arrows for filters in your data range if you're one column away that doesn't work but as long as you're in the column right next to it and click on your filter command it adds the filters so the trick is when you're in your pivot table the filter command is not available but if you're in the column right next to your pivot table and I, you click on the filter command notice it puts the filter drop down arrows within your pivot table and now I can go into the west category select number filters say greater than 750 OK and Excel will filter my pivot table based on the information that I put into the filter. If I click on the filter command it will remove those and just like with the data range, if I'm one column away and click on the filter command, it will not work. But as long as I'm in a column right next to my pivot table, I can click on the filter command and it'll put the drop down arrows within my pivot table. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.